Hello children. Today uh, our grammar topic is articles. Do you know what are the article word article words are there? Yes. You have three articles. One is a and and the. Okay, articles is divided into two types. One is indefinite articles and another one is definite article. Okay, in the indefinite articles, a and and are known as uh, indefinite articles and the is called as definite articles okay we'll see where we have to use a and and now okay usually we use a and and uh, before the singular countable nouns okay that is uh, that is should be a only one noun so it's a singular and countable noun we are using a and and before the words we are using a and and for the singular countable noun then what is the difference between the a and and when we should use a and when we should use and okay we'll see when we should use and first uh sorry a uh, first a uh, a uh is always used before a word that begins with the consonant uh, sound okay the word should begins with a consonant sound not a consonant word it should start from this consonant sound okay like uh, the consonant sounds like b c which means except the vowel words all the words are called as consonant okay when the word uh, starts with the consonant sound that time you should use a uh, before the noun for example a book a cat okay the b and c it starts from the consonant sound a book and cat so you should use before that noun a uh. then when we have to use an okay an is used before a word that begins with the vowel sound okay listen the word children it's not a vowel word it's vowel sound okay a e i o u these are the five vowel sounds you have whenever you hear a vowel sound at the beginning you should use and before that noun for example an apple an elephant okay it's the two words it starts from the vowel vowel sound so you should use an here okay now the last a definite article the where we have to use the okay the is all uh, used uh uh many times many places so here you have to use four places you should use the okay the is used before the specific nouns first the specific nouns like the boat the river the garden so these are the specific noun so that places we should use the then before the ordinal numbers in the last class itself so i told you what are the ordinal numbers that means first second third hundred Okay, fifty. These are the ordinal numbers. So before the ordinal numbers, you should use the. Okay, then the third one is superlative degrees. Okay, superlative degrees also I told you, you should use the before the superlative degree. That means the funniest story, the cleverest animal, the tallest boy. Okay, whatever super superlative degree we are using, that time you should use the before that superlative degree. then name of the unique things the things which is very unique you should use the here okay the sky the sun the moon okay, the stars okay also you should use for the for the specific persons also the president okay the chief minister the prime minister okay for the specific uh, for the unique persons also you can use bef the before the word okay okay these are the words Okay these are the places you should use the Okay hope you all know uh, hope you all know where we have to use a uh, and and the Okay okay kindly do this exercise on your own Thank you